Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 3 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Uh, if you've been following along, you know that we are on our path towards creating an automatic wither farm. Uh, there are a lot of stops along the way. Uh, the next one is going to require us to have an awful lot of fused quartz. Uh, now I've been powering this fused or this alloy smelter uh, off of my uh, explosive generator for quite a while and you might be asking yourself jackal wolf you've got a perfectly good generator right behind you why are you still powering your alloy smelter with an explosive generator and i would say that is a very very good question and uh, the only excuse i have so far is that my alloy smelter is here my uh, generator is there and uh, there's quite a bit of a distance there further than I would want to run any sort of conduit uh, unless I ran it underneath and uh, but th that's going to take an awful lot of time and uh, to be fair there is something much better in the world that I can use uh, to solve that and that is going to be a wireless RF system. Now uh, this is not uh, the same as the refined store or this is not the same as powering something with the refined storage system. Uh, this is a true wireless RF, so I can plug into any sort of item anywhere in my world with out a, having a refined storage system uh, next to it uh, but to do that we are going to need a lot of flux items now to make flux you just need to burn uh, redstone in a furnace and we're just gonna wait for that to show up and there we go so that is flux if we were to take four pieces of flux four obsidian and an eye of ender we get flux cores now flux cores are very very handy and actually it threw them over in here by accident uh if we take though if we take four flux cores and five pieces of flux we get a flux block now this is a very very uh important uh item it is used quite quite a bit uh, for the next couple of steps. Now the actual equipment we need to build is going to be a flux controller. That is five flux blocks, two pieces of flux, and a flux core. We're also going to need a basic flux storage. Now there are uh, higher levels of this flux storage, uh, but for now we'll just focus on the basic one. That is going to be six flux blocks and two pieces or two panes of glass. We're also going to need a flux plug. Uh, now this is what plugs into our generator or whatever is generating power. Um, so to make that, we're going to need four flux cores and a flux block. And last but not least, we are going to need a flux point. This is what plugs into the item being powered. Uh, now to make these, you're going to need one block of redstone and four flux cores. Now. To start, we're going to have to place our flux controller in the world. I'm just going to put this over here for now. Uh, and while we're at it, we're going to have to select a network. Now, there is no network yet, so we're going to create a network. It's going to be Jackal Wolf's network. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, that wording. Uh, we're also going to need a basic flux storage. I'm just going to put it up on top for now. Uh, if we're going to right click, we need to select the network it is associated with. Jackal Wolf's network is available, but it is grayed out. We're going to click on that. Uh, now we also need to attach the flux point. Now there's a uh, reactor redstone flux power tap. Uh, that is where the flux power comes out of our generator. So we're just going to break that connection here. And then we're going to place this right on there. It makes these other connections there so we don't have to worry about the power, but we got to right click on it, select the network, Jackal Wolves. You can see it's turned green and that basic flux storage is now full of RF. Uh, and last but not least, we got to take this flux point and we're just going to attach it right on there. It's made its connection. Right click, select the network, Jackal Wolf's network. It has gone red and as you can see, the RF is slowly filling up into our system. All of these things here should be fully powered, uh, though most of them were already. This is the only one that I have been using. So we're going to flick that switch. It's going to go on and it should stay pretty close to 100% on there. Uh, so that is going to be it. That is a wireless RF. I can take those receivers and put them anywhere in the world that I want um, and power anything off of my generator, which uh, eventually I'm going to have to build up. But uh, that is it for this one, guys. I am Jackal Wolf. This has been my five minutes. That's how I did it. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.